it's important to be yourself because it's a smasher. Even if you play D&D, maybe you watch SpongeBob or you like to make faces. Who knows, you might play in the band. You like cats, maybe you like dogs. But the important part is to be yourself. Friends are a big part of who you are, no matter who they might be. They inspire lots of emotions and creativity. Not only that, but they can make you laugh with some of the things they do, or maybe some of the things they decide to copy or write down. Your friends are very important. They're there for you when you need them, and they're also one of the people you can talk to almost any time. They make you laugh to help frighten your spirits, and then they can qu make you question everything. Friends. In high school, one of the most important parts about your daily life is socializing with your friends or other acquaintances. They also help you figure out exactly who you are and bring out the best in you. Throughout my high school career so far, I've had a select few of friends. We call ourselves the Nerd Herd. And without them, I would be nowhere. Like this fellow. He, I met him in about seventh grade. And without him, I have about no clue about where I would be or how I am now. I'm so touched. I love you, bro. I love you. Oh, boy. You can go now. But without him, I might be a social outcast or someone that would be hiding from everyone. Making it to where everything I did was for myself only and not for others. Friendship is about being able to talk to people and help them and having them help you back at a later time or at the same time. It's more than just, oh, I know you, hi! Be able to say hello in the hallways. It's about being able to talk to them, hang with them, and not get awkward. Or when it does get awkward, it's normal. Sounds weird, but it's possible. It's something you will always want to be able to do, and especially as you go out through your life. Because when you don't have friends, life is hard. And with them, it always seems better. There are all kinds of activities, such as sports. That includes football, basketball, softball, baseball, swimming, all kinds of them. You want to know all of them? Go to the Olympics or watch them. They have all of them. Then there are the activities such as drama or theater that deal with all kinds of genres and things. Then activities that deal with electronic parts or things that deal with technology. Then there's the typical high school nerd who does almost nothing but this, such as video games. Then there are the English people who do poetry and other things like that. Activities are what define who you are as a person. Without them, you're pretty much a shell of a person. Everyone has something they like to do, whether it's go outside and run, or sit down and do nothing. There's always something, and activities are very important to be yourself. So it doesn't mean do all of them. It just means that if you wanna try something, do it. Don't be afraid to go out into the blue and try and join a sports team, or you always have an idea of wanting to sing on stage. Try your drop drum club. Don't be afraid to try something new if it's not something you've done before. Activities are very important. School. Another place that can define exactly who you are and some people try high from. One of the big things in school is academics or grades. Everyone wants to try and get straight A's and be like the very top person in the class. But 
not everyone has the ability to do that. It's very important to try to do what you can and get those grades, but when you go through and maybe you get like a C on a test, or in like maybe math because it's not your subject, that doesn't mean that you just gotta absolutely hate it. It means you gotta try harder. Teachers are always there to help you. Like Clawson, she is one of my favorite math teachers. I went, in t uh, went to her for after school help and she sits down with you to, for your homework problems and helps you through it. Teachers are there to help, not her, no matter what you say. Then there's the kids that have issues with science or love science. It's another place in school that you can excel in or do other things. There's all kinds of subjects. Some people like to read the books in school. Maybe there's even a person that likes to read textbooks. Something that's unheard of, but possible. It's never a bad thing to read a book, whether it's good or bad. And when I say good or bad, I mean whether it's a te textbook <laughs> or a bad magazine. Now, so you know, the textbook is good. Then there are the people at school that like to use computer programs such as CAD or video programs through v uh, the local school VI program or a video club. There's always things in school for you to do. And whenever you hit the confused look like here, there's always something to find that will make it to where you can fit in if not, stand out. Because being different in school is not a bad thing. Different ones at times are the ones that achieve the higher places.